minutes. This is your morning in eight minutes. This morning, the Democratic National Convention is set to get underway in Chicago. Oh, the four-day event culminates with Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Tim Walz formally accepting the Democratic nominations for president and vice president later this week. The theme for day one of the convention is for the people. Special tributes planned to honor tonight's headline speaker, President Biden. This is a new CBS News poll shows Harris is making gains with a slight lead nationally over former President Donald Trump. Vice President Harris is expected to attend almost every night of the convention this week. Coming up at 8 o'clock on the CW Knoxville, we're hearing from our Washington Bureau correspondent who is in Chicago right now. She'll join us live about what we can expect at the event. And today, the jury will reconvene in the trial of an Oak Ridge man accused of murder. Sean Finnegan is accused of killing and torturing a 36-year-old woman. The jury had around three hours to deliberate on Saturday, but could not reach a decision. We heard from neighbors, family members of the victim, Jennifer Paxton, as well as TBI agents assigned to the case and Oak Ridge police officers. TBI forensic agents discussed the DNA evidence pulled from items that could have been used in Paxton's torture. If he is convicted, he could face the death penalty. You can watch the entire trial right now inside your WVLT news app. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said Ukraine is getting stronger as troops inch forward inside of Russia. The su surprise cross-border incursion marks the first time since World War II that a foreign army has fought inside Russia. Kyiv's surprise attack now in its second week, yet Moscow remains off balance, scrambling to blunt the advance. Saturday, the Ukrainian military says it hit another vital bridge in Russia. Ukrainian officials believe they could make more progress and they have the weapons. The only problem is the more effective ones were supplied by the West, including the United States, which forbids them from being used on, on Russian territory. Nearly 10 months since Israel's bloody war in against Hamas it began in Gaza this morning. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is back in Tel Aviv working to strike a deal to end the fighting. Despite a week of intensive meetings, mediating nations have failed to broker a deal between the Israeli government and Hamas leaders. Hamas is accusing Netanyahu of making new conditions to prolong the war. Blinken is expected to push to close the gap on a proposal presented by President President Biden in May. Well, happening today, UT students are heading back into class. Yeah, my favorite day, <laughs> syllabus day. First day of school for many undergrad students. The Center for Student Engagement bringing in the new year this week with a welcome back bash. Uh, tomorrow, you can head to the Student Union. Kids can get some free food and supplies, get the year started off on a good note. And as classes are starting again, Vol fans counting down the days to the first football game inside Neyland. That game, August 31st, 12 days away, the Chattanooga Mocs come to town. And also happening this week, giving blood could get you in to see your favorite country music star. Medic Blood Centers are giving away free tickets for a Morgan Wallen concert. Anyone who donates August 19th through September 1st will be eligible. Two lucky donors will win the tickets to see the show inside of Neyland Stadium. That's happening on September 22nd. All donors will also receive the August tie-dye shirt and a Texas Roadhouse coupon. Those donating August 26th through September 1st will also receive a ticket to the Tennessee Valley Fair while supplies last. And the price of eggs at the grocery store going up again according to the Consumer Price Index. Gone up by nearly 20% in July. The culprit, believed to be the ongoing bird flu outbreak, which has limited the supply of eggs. July marked the third month that egg prices went up on an annual basis. And a traffic alert for you this morning. A single lane closure on the spur this week. Both the north and southbound lanes happening today through Wednesday. Crews will be mowing ditches, removing fallen trees and branches, picking up litter, repairing guardrails. You can expect to see the lane closures from 7 this morning until 4 in the afternoon. And continuing to keep an eye on your first alert traffic this morning. Here's a live look in at I-40 at Watt Road. We are moving right along for your Monday morning commute. Another live look in at I-40 east of West Hills. As you can see, traffic is also flowing this morning. You shouldn't see any delays if you're traveling on I-40 east or west this morning. And here's another live look in a little further east, I-40 east of Strawberry Plains. As you can see, there are several folks out on the road, but it looks like we're doing okay this Monday morning.
Five minutes to seven and your first alert weather. We got that spotty rain again. You can see dropping down across Kentucky headed our way for today. So we've had some stray pop ups and we still got that spotty rain to cut through. We'll be tracking that out for you in that first alert future cast coming up at seven on the CW right now. Some of you are seeing these clouds pass by. Now we're transitioning over from what was the bright almost full moon to that sun officially coming up over the next couple of minutes. We do have some patches of fog mixed in around this cloud cover a little harder to see at the surface. Harlan to lead to Hancock and Hawkins County. We we do have a pocket of dense fog in parts of Knox still and a little foggy in Monroe to Loudoun counties. Otherwise, those temperatures really vary between some clouds, some pockets of fog and that humidity still being up. 67 right now, Knoxville, but 70 Dandridge, 69 Harland, 68 Lansing and 65 in Crossville. So as you're stepping out the door this morning, you may want a rain jacket or an umbrella. Like I said, it's spotty rain that I'm tracking to roll through our area today. But it is also the first today with below average temperatures 83 this afternoon. And then as we go through the next couple of days, we got some good opportunities to get out and catch up on some yard work, especially thanks to that dropping temperature. Although grass is actually a big contributor on that allergy report. So just a reminder there, something else we're tracking with the changes you'll see and feel. Big cool down for the next couple of days and warming right back up. We'll call this something for everybody. And that first alert eight day planner with a couple of chilly mornings even this week. Yeah, I'm not ready to give up summer just yet. <laughs> Me neither. I like the both. But I want a little like chill that. right in the middle. 656 <laughs> on this Monday morning. Headed over to WBXX, the CW in Oxford. Hope you have a good week.